Hello and welcome, welcome to Let's Fix Computers. Have you ever wondered how to change the hard drive in an Acer V5 series laptop? Well, wonder no more because I'm going to show you how. Because that's what I'm doing on this one. We start out by removing the battery and then we need to take out all these screws on the bottom. Probably all of them anyway. And we'll take off this bottom panel for good measure just to check there's nothing secret underneath it. There isn't, but we'll leave it off anyway. Right, with that done, turn the laptop over, open it up, and remove the keyboard. And for this you'll probably need a prying tool, or a very wide and flat screwdriver, and we need to dig in along these lines here, and look for those little tabs. If you don't have any metal prying tools, you could probably use guitar picks to do this, or a uh, palette knife. Mm. I'm having trouble digging in on this side. There we go. And then we should just be able to lift it up like so and release the data cable by pushing those two nubs out. And then this keyboard has a backlight, so we'll just remove the power cable to that backlight as well and put that to one side. Uh, okay, right, next thing we need to do is remove, there's a couple of screws there, there there and there and I think that's it oh there as well then we just need to detach a couple of cables here we've got the power button and the trackpad and then we should find that this top cover will come off I'm just going to dig into the side and pry that up. And there we have that. As you can see, we now have a clear view of the hard drive. Now, that is probably a slide, a lift, it's a lift and a slide, I think. It's on a cable, there we go. Yes, yeah, so that lifts up and slides out, and we can just disconnect that like so. Right, I'm now gonna put this drive on test, so we'll come back when I have an answer on whether this is faulty or not. Okay, once you have tested your hard drive, and you have found it either to be faulty or passed, in this case, this one actually passed, so it's not the hard drive, just go ahead and reconnect that and just tuck that cable back under the motherboard and slot the whole thing back within those uh, foam pads. And there we go. And now we can put this thing back together. Top cover goes on and just click it down all around the edges. Then we need to reconnect these two ribbons over here. Those just push into the connector and then the top part of the connector uh, locks down. When these ribbons are in properly, you should find that the line on them roughly lines up with the top of the connectors while they're open. That's just a rough guideline to let you know whether it's actually in properly or not. If it's not in, it simply won't work and you've got to take it off again, so. Right, and let's just reconnect this little power cable. Uh, right, this one goes underneath, we're going to have to flip this over.
There we go. And we are done. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye for now.